Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a brand new hair video for you today. It's not a wash day video that will come after. If you are new to my channel, I do in fact suffer from CCCA alopecia. So this is just an update from my biopsy, okay? I'm prepping myself for my wash day. So I'm gonna be using the molasses hair mask by Main Choice. That's what's up and through this video, okay? <laughs> So I did a biopsy finally, like a couple weeks ago, got my results back and it was confirmed that I do have a scarring type alopecia. So when I was speaking to the dermatologist, I found out that it could be one or two forms of alopecia, but she said that it would more than likely be the CCCA alopecia and any treatment that we go, that we use going forward will be for both. I forgot what she said the second one was like light light some listen okay when i remember i'll put it in the, the video <laughs> so i'm just uh, i'm over everything i really am not that i was expecting it to be nothing i just didn't want it to be that now i know um some people have said that it doesn't look like it's ccca because my hair isn't as bad as theirs or other women that have it so i confirmed that it was a it's a mild case so maybe like the early stages of it now she did suggest treatment um one of which she said that i can use rogaine but if i want to get pregnant rogaine isn't something that i should be using so there's that <laughs> Then she suggested that um, I can do steroid shots on my scalp to help ma manage the hair loss. And that's something that would be done every couple of weeks. So pretty much every month deal, I get these shots in my scalp to help with this hair loss. I'm not too particular on that because I've done the shot thing before when I had very bad migraines i had to get shots in my scalp <laughs> i just i have a lot to think about she also gave me a shampoo that um i can check out i'll put the name in here um because i wrote it down and she basically was saying that the next form of treatment would have been the oral which is the oxy doxycycline which i told her i did um, the clobetazole, which I told her I did and stopped because my scalp was just being super irritated by it. I even told her about the shampoo that he gave me. And that to me also, yeah, sure, it cleaned my scalp, but also I'm pretty sure it caused more issues because if I use it long term, it caused hair loss. <laughs> like, how are you going to give me a shampoo to combat my hair loss that's causing my hair loss? Like, I don't get it. Okay. So yeah, I'm not happy about that. So right now I have a lot to think about in terms of the type of treatment that I want to do because long term, I, I need to figure out something long term. Um, the Rogaine can only be something that I use if I'm not trying to get pregnant or anything of that. And that's not the right I'm trying to do right now. Right. So I'm just going to figure out. I'm going to figure out. I, <laughs> it's like I don't even understand. I don't even know. And I'm going to tell you something. Remember right before I did my biopsy, there's videos all over my channel. You can definitely go check them out. They're all in sequence. <laughs> my hair, I was losing so much hair, so much hair, so much hair. Like I touched my hair, it was coming out, like it was falling out. My scalp was sore, it was itchy, all that stuff. Like I don't even understand. And then I go to the doctor. I haven't had any like flare ups, one. I haven't had any itchy scalp outside of the part where I had the stitches, I hadn't had a itchy scalp um, or anything like that. And the hair loss that I will show you in this video, it wasn't a lot, which I expected it to be a lot more since I didn't actually touch my hair for about two weeks in terms of combing it out. And I didn't comb it out here, I'm just going to detangle in. So it's very interesting. So I'm gonna see how my hair progressed. I think starting January 1, I'm going to definitely be on a health, health hair journey, <laughs> a healthy hair journey. Like I was in um, this year, but I got sidetracked because I had no idea what was going on with my hair, my scalp and all that stuff. Um, in terms of styling, I'm still not going to 
a style i usually put my hair in a bun i usually like you know braid my hair do all that stuff so it's very frustrating that i can't do what i normally do with my hair that's my problem right now okay now as for treatment when i decide on what i'm going to do i will fill you guys in um again what works for me may not work for you what works for you may not work for me but i'm open to all suggestions i'm open to trying different things and that's cool i'm gonna get all my supplements in order um just things figure out my my products that i'm gonna be using on my hair i haven't used oil per se in my hair in months maybe that caused the excess shedding of my hair like i have no idea it's winter time so i can't have my hair out here not lubricated you know what i'm saying <laughs> That's just wrong. It needs to be lubricated. So with that being said, that is it for your little update. This is just the pre-game to my wash day. <laughs> because my wash day was very long. It was very long. I need to go buy some deep treatment products. Like there's so much that I have to do to prep myself for this new year in terms of my hair. I'm just gonna go to the hair store, do a stash, all that stuff. But anyways, I will keep you posted. They're all gonna be in sequence. You already know what day it is, okay? You know what time it is when it comes to my hair. <laughs> but anyways, that is it. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you back here for another one. Bye.